Welcome back to Movie Recap. Today I'm gonna show you a 2014 thriller crime drama film called, Echelon Conspiracy. Spoiler ahead. Seat back, relax and enjoy. The movie starts in Washington DC, Miss Dolan a security expert in Pentagon, she is making her way to take an underground subway, as she makes her way through the platform, we can see, she is being watched, then she receives a text message, that not to take the train but go to the tunnel instead. As she makes her way in the tunnel, she receives another text message saying answer lies under the crossing 1114, she stops at that crossing but finds nothing. However, a train is coming towards her, she runs and jumps towards another rail track, only to find another train killing her instantly. Few weeks later, we see Max, a young American ethical hacker who is in a trip to Bangkok to fix the security patches of a firm, he shows the owner with the use of a belt how he can take down a server, and then regain the access in case of a security breach with a secure drive. After the successful service, he decides to go to a nearby hotel. Upon arrival, he asks for a room for the night, but then he says make it sweet, the receptionist tells her that there's a package on his name, he didn't order anything, but he takes the package, we see him being watched as well. Later, he goes to the room and opens the package and finds a brand new phone in it, surprised, he goes to the washroom, when he comes back, he sees a text message, saying that there's no need to rush home and hotel prices are half for this weekend, then he confirms it with the front desk and extends his stay. In the next scene, in Moscow, Russia, a man gets a text that new phone is activated. Back in Bangkok, we see Max enjoying his happy hour alone and he gets a text asking him to buy the shares of Scissor and make money, few hours later we see him finding out form news that the price of shares tripled. Next day when he is checking out of the hotel, he gets another text telling him to go to Prague, upon arrival, he sees a taxi driver convincing him to go with him since he speaks English there. When he is in taxi he gets two text messages, one telling him that he's going to be rich and another one to go to Empire Hotel, the taxi driver named Yuri gives him his card saying he's a hacker as well and if he needs him, he will be there. Upon arrival at the hotel, he gets a new text message telling him to go to slot machine 13, he goes there and finds a man already using the machine, another text says that after the three turns the fourth turn will be jacket, so he pays the man off by giving him 100 euros, we see him being watched. On the fourth try, as the text message said, he wins the 100,000 euro jacket. In control room we see John the casino security manager and a former FBI agent. They do a background check on him and they find out that he is American and has no criminal records, then we see Max getting a text to go for blackjack on table 6, they watch him from control room going to table 6, Max receives another text saying bet all the chips, he seems nervous and hesitant but he follows the text, everyone's eyes are on him, and as the cards play out we see that he wins again this time. Everyone congratulate him, we also see that from the control room, John finds out that Max is using a phone, he sends a guard, and they tell him phone is not allowed in casino which he replies I got text from my mom, then Max goes out and calls Yuri for help. Then Max decides to go back in the hotel, not knowing of all the cameras, he goes to corridor and comes across, Camilla, they both share a connection instantly, as he walks, we see her jealous boyfriend trying to abuse her, he stops him but gets a superman punch instead making him unconscious. In meantime, Camilla takes him out of his phone and scans it. Max wakes up with the smiling woman, Camilla, and she tells her that security came and took her boyfriend away, then he tries to talk to her and finds she's American and asks her out for a drink. She says yes before leaving. To further his newfound career in gambling, Max enlists the aid of Yuri, a taxi driver, and a hacker, who gets him a text-to-voice earpiece to wirelessly receive his anonymous and lucrative text messages. Yuri goes through his phone and says he can find out who's texting him, but his equipment is in Russia. Max pays him 100 euros for his help. He then goes in and follows the instructions from the text everyone is watching him. He hits the 3 million euro jackpot on a slot machine, but we see guards approaching him and he runs away. However, FBI agent Dave Grant interrupts the chase and knocks him down, then handcuffs Max, to interrogate him about the phone, John shows up and we see that John knows Agent Grant and they used to work together, Grant takes Max by saying now he is business of FBI not casino. Then take Max to an isolated abandoned warehouse to interrogate him further, Grant starts asking him why he bought this phone and then takes the bag out Max's face and Max says it was sent to him anonymously, Grant leaves by saying I believe you sunshine. Later, John comes to Grant and tells him that his boss wants Max back since they want to know how he tricked their casino. Grant tells him that he can't help and says that few important people received a phone like this like the CEO of a credit union company, and after few days he was found dead. Another one of them was a lady working at Pentagon, she received text to buy shares and she instantly became rich. Later, they found her dead on railway tracks with a phone broken, then they agree to work together to get answers and to find out the person behind texts, they release Max by saying they need him to find the sender. Later, in Maryland. Raymond Burke, head of the National Security Agency, NSA. Receives call from Agent Grant, apparently, they're monitoring Max, Grant tells him that the boy doesn't know anything but assures Raymond that he will find out about it. Back in Prague, we see Mueller, the owner of Casino. John visits him and tells him that FBI took Max and there is an unknown sender behind the text and there are some people who died. Mueller tells him to find out more and then John leaves. The next day, Max receives call from Camilla asking if they can meet, and then they both meet in a bar, where Max tells her what he does at work, and she tells him that she is going to a photography school. Upon seeing the guard from John, Max says he needs to leave for work, 
but they agree on seeing each other the next day. Later, Agent Grant and John come up with a plan and they give chips of 100,000 euros to Max, and they need at least three texts from unknown sender. So, they can track the sender with the help of Raymond at NSA headquarters. Max goes to casino and turns on his phone making a signal. He receives a text saying go to table 17, and the team starts tracking the sender, he goes to table he gets another text to bet all, while they get more and more closer finding that the sender is within USA and is in Maryland. Shockingly, the cards don't turn out in Max's favor, and he loses the game, as he gets the third text saying, try to do track me again and you'll be dead, as the team gets closer to tracking, Raymond find out something and he tells them to abort the mission immediately. Everyone is shocked but they abort the mission. Then, Raymond orders Grant to bring back the boy, we see Max getting a warning not to turn off his phone or he will be dead. In headquarters, Raymond tells Tech that messages came from Echelon security system, and he thinks it is hacked, the guards come and take Max, Raymond also asks the Tech to see for any breaches in the system. In Prague, John meets Mueller and updates him on the situation and the names of people who died saying they were chosen randomly, which Mueller denies saying nothing is random and to look into it more. Later, Grant talks to Raymond about the situation and Raymond tells him that he found a Navy officer that looks like Max and now that officer will take over the situation. In the evening, Max goes to see Camilla and she cooks for him the dinner, then they talk about how her dream is to go to Paris and that life is not easy not allowing her to travel, he says maybe they can go there together, after that Max starts undressing her, and then they passionately having meat injection game. Next morning, Camilla receives call from John that he is coming there to take Max. Back in the office gets instructions with time and place. They send the duplicate there to pose as Max, the duplicate then stands at the signal while Grant is hiding nearby, then the text says to cross the street, as he walks the light changes, and two cars collide with each other and killing the duplicate instantly. Raymond sees all this from the headquarters. Later, we see a sniper getting in the position outside Camilla's place, Max compliments Camilla by saying she looks beautiful this way, then we see him finding an article on Echelon security system, that the only reason the system wasn't accepted in national defense was due to the fact they lost voting by one vote, she tells him that maybe NSA can win this time. He suspects her now since he never mentioned NSA to her, she is caught in front of Max now. She looks outside the window, and she sees a sniper, she instantly pushes Max on the ground, as they crawl on the ground, we see more guards approaching them. Camilla notices the guard at the door, so she grabs a tool, and she stabs one of the guards with it and gets shot. She runs towards guard like Flash, then she gives him a headbutt and a Catwoman kick. Finally, Max grabs a sharp object and stabs the guard with it. Someone opens the door and it's John to pick up Max. He tells him that Camilla scanned his sim while he was unconscious, and she works with him. Later we find out that Raymond sent Sniper to eliminate Max. Since he knows a lot by now. Then we see Grant getting a message asking him to hand over Max or he'll be dead. In the car Max convinces John to take him to Russia to get help from Yuri. Then we see Raymond getting the news about Echelon update rejection. In Moscow, Russia, Max gives the driver address and says the seatbelts are not working, driver says this is Russia if you wear seatbelts police will suspect you. They arrive to Yuri's place, and we see them being watched. Yuri is happy to see him there. John pushes him and asks him if he's an army or an agent. Yuri says I am just a hacker and I want to know about the sender as much as you do and asks for three hours of time. Later, they go for a walk and John tells Max that he used to work with Grant, and they used to be good friends, but he left FBI because his way of working wasn't accepted there. Upon arrival Yuri says you won't like what I found. Yuri says, the reason there was no breach found in Echelon system, was because there is no breach, and the messages were sent by them the system itself, they don't believe him, but then Yuri explains, that the system is using cameras all around the world, as its eyes, and using the neural network to predict things and have its own mind. Then, he shows how the system observed, and predicted event the moves of blackjack game at casino, and he says, that system is so powerful that it can monitor every single person, with a phone or tablet, making the privacy cease to exist. Then Yuri points out the guards approaching them. They make their run towards the exit, and they steal a van from outside. As they make their way to the main street, we see them chased by guards, John then makes a move and knocks down one of the cars by saying he learned driving in Brooklyn. Later, they reach to railway track and guards and Agent Grant catches up with them. Then John reverses the car and knocks down Grant's car. John points a shotgun at Grant and asks him to tell them everything, Grant tells them that he got a text threatening his life to find Max or he will be dead, and he wants to find the sender as much as they do. Max replies I believe you sunshine. Then, they receive a text with the location details. Then they fly to that place, which turn out to be a backup server for the state of Nebraska, which is not currently being used. Max says, he has worked at the security patch for that server and knows that place. Upon arrival, they meet the SWAT team to help them get access in the place. Then the SWAT team, bombs the door and takes it down, the team then goes and then they give clearance to them. When they're inside, the camera sees them and we see Max getting a text, it says authorized BIOS, Grant asks Raymond about it and then gets his permission to do so and to send the SWAT team away. Meanwhile, Max turns on the power supply of server. Once, the servers are on he logs in the system but finds nothing, then the expert from NSA checks it and finds nothing there, so they go outside. When they go outside, we see some activity on the screen. Back in NSA the tech finds something, so he runs to inform Raymond. 
Meanwhile, outside Grant orders the guard to leave and now it makes sense to him about the link between all the victims. Grant, explains that people who died earlier must have tried to stop Echelon System. When they go inside they find out that the Echelon System, has transferred itself from NSA Maryland to Nebraska, then they see the system upgrading itself. Max says I will shut the system down, and he gets a warning not to try it, and the system shows credit information of thousands of people. Now it is clear that the reason the first person was killed because he was CEO of the credit firm, then the lady because she worked in security systems, at Pentagon and Max was given phone. Since, he was the only one to get the access of backup server. Grant gets a call from Raymond so he goes out, and Max takes down the power supply with his belt. Raymond, tells him that the president wants Echelon to protect America, and if anyone comes between it, they will be taken down. Then Raymond contacts the guards to go back to server. Max, connects his earbuds with the system and starts talking to system that it is going against its major purpose by destroying everyone's privacy and it is not programmed to do so. Then we see the guards approaching them and they all start firing. Surprisingly, upon what Max said there is a conflict in the neural network of the system and when the upgrade is about to finish, the system shows hundreds of articles where it says how it destroys privacy of people, there is shift in the system and before the upgrade installs, it disregards it and shuts down the server on its own. We see the guards overpower them, and they all surrender. Then we see Raymond assuring President that the system is down, but they will try to run it again after major fixes. John sends text to Mueller that the problem is solved now. Later, Max is bailed from the prison, and they tell him that Raymond will avoid public attention and that Camilla has paid for his bail. Then Grant asks John if he will work with FBI again, which John replies only if he gets his old office. Outside, Camilla tells him that she missed him and shows him the check of 3 million euros that Mueller has sent for him. Then, he tells Camilla, that they'll go to Paris, and kisses her passionately. He then, gets a text saying congrats, and to say hi to your mom. That text, recalls to the time when Max, was showing his phone to Yuri, and told him that the texts are from his mom. And now it is revealed that John was right about Yuri, and it turns out Yuri works for Russian army. General of Russian army congratulates Yuri on his mission, but Yuri replies that soon Americans will try to use the system again. When the general leaves he presses a button on his phone, and movie ends. Thanks for watching. See you in another movie recap. Please like and subscribe to help the channel out. Have a nice day.